Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply press on nails. If you order with my small business, this is the baggie that you're going to get. It has everything you need from the cuticle stick, the glue, adhesive tabs, nail file, and alcohol swab. Some additional tools that I like to have are a buffer block and some tweezers and you'll see why in a second. The set that I'll be using today is called Angel Baby and it's on my website if you guys click the link wherever I have it listed. It's really cute and I really suggest this one. So my first step that I'm going to do is buff out all of my nails, make sure that all the shine is gone off of my nail beds so that I have a good strong surface for the nails to be applied. This next step is pretty optional, but I think it helps make the nails look way more natural. So I like to take my cuticle stick and just push my cuticles back so that when I apply my press-ons, it looks like my actual nail that's growing. You can even go as far as to push back your cuticles and then if you have them, take some cuticle cutters and cut away the excess skin. That way it'll look even more precise, but really it's just all up to you. As I'm watching this, this looks so awkward because it looks like I'm not doing anything, but I usually manicure my nails pretty frequently, so my cuticles really didn't need to be pushed back all that much. Next, I'm going to take an alcohol swab and wipe off the surface of all of my nails to get rid of that debris and dust. Now that my hands are all prepped and ready, I'm going to show you guys first how to use the adhesive tabs. So if you're looking for a more temporary use for your nails, I really suggest using the adhesive tabs because they last about one to three days. So right here I'm showing you guys how to put them on. Basically you have to kind of guess and see which tab will fit your nail and I'm just going to apply it directly to my nail bed. I've seen some girls put it on the inside of the press on itself and honestly it's just whatever works for you. Um, I have the tab facing down, some people have the tab facing up, again it just depends on what you want and how you feel about it so I'm just going to press it into my nail, make sure that it's very secure and doesn't lift up when I try to peel it back. So this is where the tweezers come in and I like to use these because I'm able to grab the plastic a little bit better because with my fingers it doesn't quite work, especially if I already have one hand with nails on, it's just a mess. So I like to use tweezers to get all the plastic off. Next you just take your press on and I kind of like to press it firmly onto my nail but also try to get it a little bit underneath my cuticle to make it look as if it's my actual nail growing. So I make sure I press it down as much as possible. It looks like I'm being super aggressive but I'm really not. And I try to make sure that I size my nails correctly to the point where you can't see my actual nail underneath. So I didn't show it here when I prepped my nails, but I did file my nails pretty short. And that's how I like it. But obviously you can do as you please, do whatever you want. I just like to have my nails as short as possible so that my press-ons look like my actual nails. Now this is what I'm talking about. When I try to peel back sometimes, it rips up the adhesive with it, and that's not at all what you want. So be very careful when you're doing this, just make sure that you have it pressed all the way down. And when this happens to me, I like to just try to peel from somewhere else that isn't lifting up with it. So again, I'm just going back and smoothing, making sure that the adhesive is laying down properly. And I'm just going to peel up from a different place that isn't lifting up initially and see if that will help. And 9 times out of 10, it will work if you peel from somewhere different and just start the process from a different place. So I'm going to continue to peel the plastic off and that piece came off so nice. I was so happy about that. So I'm just going to make sure it's secure and then put my next nail on and keep doing that process until I fill up my entire hand. 
So I just repeated that same process throughout my entire hand and this is what it came out to look like. It looks so cute and next I'm going to show you guys how to use the glue application. So if you wear press on nails you know that nail glue is one of the best ways to put them on because it's very quick and very easy. So for me I like to put a few drops of nail glue directly onto my nail bed and move it around the surface so that it's coating my entire nail. Then I like to wait just a few seconds and let that get tacky so then I can apply a second coat so I can ensure that I get the best hold for my nails so that I can at least wear my nails for about a week. So like I said, you want to make sure your nail is tacky. As you can see, my nail slipped at first, so obviously it wasn't quite ready to go on, but I kind of forced it on anyways. But you want to just make sure you apply it firmly. And you guys, when I say this nail glue holds, if it's on crooked, it is going to be crooked. So make sure you put these on as straight as possible. So here's a side by side. Obviously the one with glue lays a little bit flatter, but the one on the left is a little bit more raised. But overall, I think both options are great and they came out very cute. Now I do want to show you where I messed up a little bit and yeah, that that's not good. It's very crooked. As you can see, it looks nothing like my other hand. So like I was saying guys, be sure that you are careful and take your time, especially with this nail glue. It is not going to move, but you know, overall it's very cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to shop my small business and get you some press-ons of your own. Like, comment, and subscribe to this page, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!